Hey everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to dynamically pull today's and yesterday's sales sales amounts from a, a table that gets updated uh, daily or throughout the day. So let's say we have this, We get the, here's our table on the left. These are our daily sales, all sales information like here, uh, 316, a product was sold for $96, a product was sold for $141, $189. Here's all our, our sales data and every time a sales happens it gets automatically updated here. So with all this information what if we want to have a quick snapshot I mean to see like how we're doing today how we did yesterday we want we can use formulas to pull in today's sales and yesterday's sales no matter what today the day is so let's start off by using the sum if what we're gonna do we're gonna add we're gonna sum the column depending on on what the day it is so we're gonna highlight the dates this is our a range we'll go comma now what's the criteria what is Excel gonna look for we want to look for today's date so we're gonna put today the today function will just pull in today's date and then we put comma and then what's the sum range sum range has to be the same rows like a2 to a17 but what we're gonna do is sum up the sales so we go b2 to b17 so now we've got our whole formula press enter and we got four hundred twenty six dollars which what it's doing today it <clears throat> just to show you what today is we'll do today today is three sixteen fifteen so what it's doing in this formula it's looking up in a2 to a17 it's looking for this three sixteen it finds it once twice three times and it's gonna sum up whatever's in column B which is the sales and if you add up these three amounts see plus this plus this plus this press enter and it's 426 so now this is dynamic so now when the next day comes this will become 317 and it's gonna look for just pulling the 317 sales but now when we copy this to the other tab we just want to make sure we're still pulling in the same range so I want to put dollar signs in front of the uh, at least from at least in front of the starting. So now I'm going to copy this down, and now it's looking from A2 to A18. That doesn't really matter as long as you start at A2 and you get the first date today. But since we had yesterday's, we're going to do today minus one. So now it gives you yesterday's sales, and yesterday's 3:15. 97 plus 52 equals 149 and so those are yesterday's sales so that's how you can use uh different functions to dynamically pull in your uh, sales information thanks bye-bye